it's flea season and most of us are sick so I'm making some chicken soup today let me show you how to make the soup so today we're making a chicken soup with some pasta noodles um, and it's the bomb okay I was feeling a bit sick the other day and people on Instagram were asking me how did I make the soup so I figured let me hook you guys up and make the soup again for my YouTube channel so for our ingredients we're going to start with one whole onion we're going to use some celery I didn't just use the celery sticks so two whole celery stocks like the whole thing I used even some of this this has a very pungent smell, right? But I think as you cook it and you cook it off, it actually has a really nice flavor. So if you've never used this, don't be intimidated by how it smells. It will cook off and it will be amazing. And then we're going to use two carrots, um, two pieces of chicken. You can use chicken breasts or chicken thighs. I don't know if it's just me or the chicken is getting bigger, guys. But this is still kind of frozen, so I'll give it like the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> and then we're going to use two cups of these pasta shells. You can use anything. You could use those ribbon thicker pastas. You could use macaroni. Anything you like, actually. I just thought that these would look cute. You're going to need some oil. Of course, some garlic and herb. Um, we're going to need some stock. So I'm going to use two stock cubes. I'm going to use some bay leaf, but like honestly, I don't really cook with bay leaf. I don't even know what the point of bay leaf is. I just feel like it's a bit useless, but I use it for my kitchen. So sometimes there are moths flying around. So I open like a few cups of bay leaf and leave them around and they go away. So that's why I have some bay leaf. And then I am going to use this to season my chicken so we're not going to use a lot maybe just one teaspoon because we just want to flavor our chicken and then we are going to use packet soup we're only going to add this at the end but Nakia Sana I believe in packet soup because I don't have time to be worrying about thickness and all of that so I'm just going to add this I'm going to mix it with some milk if you have cream all the better but I don't use cream so the more cost effective the better we're gonna serve this with some bread so let's get started let me show you how to make the soup <laughs> we're going to start by adding some oil and frying off some onion so this is our fryer low heat please don't burn this because this is the base of isopietu so it's over for your soup so very low temperature we're just gonna make our onion sweat now. Okay, to this, I'm going to add our chicken, right? Because I just want to brown it a little bit before I add our other veggies. She can tell you the things you want to hear She can read your mind and that you can pull out Of a little lies to tell yourself it
I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so I don't have a lot to say. <laughs> Except for the part that I hate about all of this is this having to clean up, wash the dishes, like yo. Having to wash the dishes, having to clean everything. We're gonna wait for the soup to cook for about 40 minutes, right? You're gonna put your stove on four. Why is it? Oh yeah, mine is at four as well. My stove goes from one to six, right? So I'm gonna put it at four. You can put it at three, but that's gonna take a while. I don't have a lot to say. I always talk a lot. Yo guys, if you guys knew how my best friend and I, we talk every single day for like, I'm sure we talk for like three hours. I talk a lot. Um, but I wanted to share the thing that I learned today. I learned a lesson today where I feel like I'm in my slow season, right? I don't have a lot going on. My life is very slow and you know, but I always just assume that my friends are busy, assume that my friends have busier lives and they have so much going on. So when they call me, I tend to drop everything to make time for them because I'm not doing much anyway, right? Um, so I received a few calls this morning and one of my friends needed me and another friend that I'm working with needed, wanted us to do something, but none of these were like pre-made plans and I had to go to the bank for something else. My only plan was to make the soup today. Literally, the soup was my plan for the day. But now with everybody calling me and everything, it wasn't really an emergency. So I could get away with just saying, no, I'm busy. But normally I wouldn't. Normally I would just say, okay, friend, you're not okay. Let's just, you know, but I just decided to make myself a priority because if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do it, you know? So I just learned that irrespective of the season that I'm in to have my own boundaries for myself, to respect my own time so that other people can respect my time. And literally after I said I couldn't or we'll meet later, no one died, no one said anything. So I feel like being a people pleaser, sometimes you always just, and being empathetic, always making time for other people, always being there for other people. And then you complain when your schedule is filled by everybody else, but you don't do the things you want to do. And it sounded silly because I was like, you know, I'm just going home to make soup. But that was part of my plan. If I don't do this today, tomorrow's Friday, and then my weekend is just gonna go away. Like, I'm gonna be busy. And then next week, I might not be in the mood to make the soup. And that's what's been happening these past few months, you know? Um, I'm in a very slow season. I've hated it. I've been complaining about it because I just wanna be busier. Just wanna do stuff. I don't wanna be making soup on a Thursday afternoon because there's literally nothing else to be doing. Like, I feel like I want my life to be busier. I want my plans to take off. But what I've realized, of what I've learned, I've been so obsessed with universal laws. Um, because I feel like if it's a law, then it is the way that it is. There's no, like there's nothing you can do to change it. So there's the universal law of rhythm, which talks about time. And that's why everything in the world operates from the law of rhythm. We have day and night, we have seasons, you know, we have winter, summer, autumn, spring. And as much as we love summer and you want to hold on to summer so bad, summer's going to go, you know, because it's time for winter. The w world is always spinning. So it's that law that says that, like, nothing really stays the same. We are always at the cusp of change. Like, literally, your life could go from bad to good at any moment. Or your life could go from good, from, from, good to bad at any moment so whichever state or phase that you're in to be in it presently you know and to enjoy it and to immense yourself in it so i've just been learning about these laws and i feel like it's put me so much at ease i'm so relaxed i'm like this is what i'm meant to be doing you know i'm just being this is what i'm meant to be doing making soup on a thursday afternoon drinking water kicking my mom out of the kitchen because I want time to pretend that I have a cooking show. <laughs> this is it, you know? So, and honoring that. 
but also respecting myself in that time you know and not feeling like i don't have anything better to do so i might as well fill my schedule with everybody else's plans and expectations for me except for what i want to do you know so hopefully i can talk more about the universal laws um everybody always talks about the law of attraction or the law of manifestation you know obviously yes those are there but there's so many other laws as well you know that explains just how our world works so for me the law of rhythm is just has helped me so much in this season that it can't stay bad forever you know like you know when it's night time they say it's night time and you hate the night and you're praying for it to be day you can be miserable praying hoping fasting doing everything that you want can just to make it day if it's not time for it to be day it won't be time because the eight hours have to pass it's up to you are you gonna cry and be frustrated and anxious throughout the eight hours or you're gonna relax and just be because time is going to pass anyway you know and then when day comes and it's time for you to be happy then we're happy then we're enjoying it but knowing that at any moment you know work life works and ebbs and flows there's always like even with the ocean have you seen it's like the tide goes in it goes out it goes in like every single thing works according to the law of rhythm so i love it uh there's so many other universal laws um but the law of rhythm right now is the one that you know has been on my mind because i know that at any point the pendulum can shift from bad to good and it keeps me in such high spirits you know it keeps me hopeful that like girl rest because when your busy season comes you're gonna be busy you're not gonna have time to be co cooking soup and you're gonna miss it like you're gonna miss the time that you had so yeah hopefully i can talk about the universal laws i really like to teach so maybe I will force you guys to be my students. I actually forced my partner like to learn the universal laws. We were literally like on a video call and I was like, okay, the law of polarity, bad and good. The law of oneness. Ubuntu is a universal law. It's the law of oneness, you know. I was teaching him and I was like, you need to use these laws to govern your life and it's going to change your life it's going to change your perspective it's going to change your mind on how you perceive things so maybe i should be make myself this youtube teacher <laughs> actually let me not make promises i won't keep it because <laughs> anyway we're gonna wait for the soup um yeah i think it's about like 20 minutes in now we're gonna wait for the soup and then we're gonna add the pasta shells and then cook it for another 15 minutes until these are soft i think the whole the rule is cook everything until it's cooked and soft and then add more water as needed because we are making a soup after all and then yeah bottoms up to water because we are sick <laughs> Before I forget, there's these new stock powders um, from Knorne. This one is the garlic and onion flavor. So you can definitely add a bit of this. I added this the other day when I made the soup for the first time this week, but it's finished now. So you can definitely add this. You can add a bit of garlic as well, but I know my sister hates garlic. So if you're making it for kids and your kids don't like garlic, don't add the garlic. But that's why I always use this garlic and herb spice to substitute for the garlic. But I really like these and they have other flavors as well. So, yeah. Actually, let me force maybe because I'll put my in a bit. But I really like the stock. So, it's been about 45 minutes to 50 minutes these pieces of chicken are big so i've been piercing them just to see if they're cooked i also added another cup of hot water to the 
pot and then go I'm going to add my pasta shells so this is towards the end of the cooking process so I'm just gonna add these for another maybe 15 minutes until they're cooked and then we're gonna take out the chicken and shred it So our soup has been cooking, so I'm going to take the chicken out and shred it, right? Um, please make sure that you keep on stirring this occasionally because the pasta will stick to the bottom. At this point, you can also lower your heat back to a two because we are done cooking. Tell him he's all you see Tell him you got his keys Cause you thought he needed them But he's not coming back again So he's gone leaving then You won't see him again It was convenient But you won't be staying friends And you know that uh, I think it's better to do this with chicken breasts Because they're much easier to break up But I like using the bone I feel like it adds so much flavor to the soup so we are racing against time because it's about to be load shedding so i'm going to pour this in back into the pot be careful to remove all the bones everything shred your chicken properly We're gonna take our babies out. They've done their job. We're done with them. And then we're going to add some soup. One teaspoon of each into some milk. And then we're done. So the consistency is up to you. Mine is really thick, but you can add more water just to make it a bit runnier. It just depends like what kind of soup do you like? Do you like a thick soup? Do you like a thinner consistency? You know, so at this point, because our flavors are developed, you can just add what you prefer. I think I'm gonna add a bit of water and then we're gonna add some salt and then we're done. So we're gonna give this another five minutes and then we're done. The soup is done. I'm gonna add a bit of pepper. The soup is done. This is the kind of consistency I like. with how it looks I think it looks so good so we are done with our soup and yeah I love it it's delicious and we're gonna have a little bit of a taste okay 
but hey we're gonna have a taste honestly i don't really like seafood bread i just prefer it like that and some people toast it but that's not good though, so Mm. It's delicious. Mm. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys will make the soup. I hope you guys will enjoy the soup. And I am feeling so much better. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please write your suggestions down below what you would like to see. And I hope that I can do them. But thank you so much for joining me. Mwah. I want to do a taste. You want a spoon or you want it with bread? Okay, wait. Why do you come back from school so dirty? Um, sometimes, uh, you know, I fall down, I play in the sand sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Oh. yeah. This guy's. Do you like this bread? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna dish up for you. Can I keep this bread? Yes, you can keep the bread. Thanks. Hi, <laughs> guys. Mm -hmm.